Hey, I'm Kyle. Hi, Manny. Hi, I'm Jesse from the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. This is an experiment we made that uses machine learning to organize thousands of bird sounds into an interactive visualization. Bird sounds can be really difficult to learn because there's so many species out there, and some of them sound really similar. And at times, you might just need to be distinguishing between a note that slurs up or a note that you know drops in pitch, and these can be really, really subtle differences. This project started when we were talking to people at Cornell about how it might be interesting to apply machine learning to bird sounds. So we decided to try a little test with some of the sounds in our collection. We didn't give the computer any outside data or tags, or even tell it the birds' names. We wanted to see if it could just listen to the sounds and automatically learn its own way to organize them. Bird songs vary a lot, so before we can look at them in the same space, we have to break down everything into short bursts of sound less than a second long. Then we group the sounds with a technique called T-SNE. First, the computer creates a fingerprint from each sound, which is like an image or a set of numbers that represents that particular sample. Then t compares all of these fingerprints and places similar sounds closer together. One way to think about t is that it's taking these fingerprints from a high dimensional space, that space with more than three dimensions, and reducing them to two dimensions so that we can visualize it. And our test worked pretty well. This is a map of the sounds that the computer created. You can see that it figured out how to group similar sounds from similar birds closer together. We also made it so that you can search for specific birds. We put it on the web for anyone to play with. We certainly have a dream that someday you'd be able to put out a microphone in the Amazon with a recorder and have all the species, you know, maybe not even just birds, identified and we would be able to monitor a species diversity at site through these automated recognition techniques. I think it's incredibly exciting to figure out what are those collaborations that we can make between computer science and ornithology or biology in general and start tackling some really exciting and challenging uh, science and conservation questions. Visit MacaulayLibrary.org for more resources on wildlife sounds. And you can play with the experiments we made and get the code at g.co slash AI experiments.